be here today. A few weeks ago, on a bright sunny day, one of the few bright sunny days we've had this spring, I went down to the downtown riverfront to take some pictures of the Admo excursion boat before it was to be towed up river and then to be torn apart for scrap metal. The Admiral was a boat that many of you danced on until you almost dropped, and a boat that many of you did some smooching on, <laughs> top deck, with that favorite person of, of yours of the opposite sex. In fact, you probably did some smooching on some of the other decks too. <laughs> As I looked out into the river and seen the glowing silver metal hull of the Admiral, I couldn't help but reflect on how it would have been to have had, had the opportunity to grow up during the period of time when this boat was in its prime years. The period of time that Tom Brokaw, the NBC World's News anchor, referred to as a time when the greatest generation lived. Many of you who are here today are part of that greatest generation, a generation that made many sacrifices so that we could have the freedom we have today. You grew up in an era when many essential things had to be rationed, gasoline, sugar, shoes, all kinds of metal products, etc. But you also grew up in an era when many of the problems we face today were very minor in comparison to today's problems. A time when very few people had problems with drugs, a time when you could take a late evening, late evening walk without fear of being mugged, a time when you didn't have to worry about keeping your doors locked at all times, etc. You lived in a time that when you danced you were holding your partner's hand as you danced, not like many of the dances today. You listened to music that you could understand the words to and words that you could repeat in front of your parents. Just like the song we just finished singing, and you listened to radio shows and watched movies that were free of cuss words and sexual situations. You worked hard, but you also enjoyed life with clean fun. This week, continue having clean fun like you did as you were growing up so that we may have a better tomorrow. At this time, I would like to read the proclamation from the city of Shrewsbury. Whereas May 9th through May 13th, 2011, has been designated a celebration of Senior Adult Week, and whereas Cardinal Ritter Senior Services has selected Living Today for a Better Tomorrow as a theme for celebration, and whereas the City of Shrewsbury recognizes the many residents, volunteers, and employees of independent living, assisted living, skilled nursing, senior housing communities, and all other programs for senior adults, and appreciates their generous contributions to our community, and whereas the members of Cardinal Ritter Senior Services are dedicated to the development of care and services for senior adults to help senior adults live as independently as possible. Now therefore, I, Felicity Buckley, as Mayor of the City of Shrewsbury, hereby proclaim May 9th through May 13th, 2011 to be celebration of Senior Adult Week and urge citizens of this community to honor and celebrate the special event for our senior adults. So proclaim the sixth day of May, 2011. Before I close, I would like to see a show of hands of those who did some smooching on the Admiral. Let me see those hands up in the air. Don't lie, ladies. Remember, Archbishop Carlson's here today, and he doesn't want to be hearing a lot, a lot of confessions. Thank you for allowing me to be here today, and have a great senior week. Don't forget, the city of Shrewsbury loves you.